Bill Foig, I'm the Sales uh, Marketing Manager for KSIH for Planners for North America, and I'd just like to share with you a couple of things that I think you'll find of interest with in our uh, twin row offering. As you look here, we have an active air row pro system. You set the down pressure with your spring, and then you go to do your tractor monitor and set it up so that you, you determine the amount of weight on your gauge wheel. That gauge wheel then, as the weight changes on it, this air cylinder inside will instantaneously react and it will give you up and down pressure to maintain uniform depth as you go through the field. Down at the row unit itself, one of the things that is in line with our early riser row unit and it also is uh, on this unit is we use staggered disc openers. That means we have one leading edge, edge disc and one trailing edge disc. That means that we can cut a narrower slice into the soil, takes less weight to penetrate, and as a result you get more uniform depth because it's easier to maintain that depth with that sharp knife as versus a, a, a dollar system that might be nose to nose. The other thing that you'll like about this is that for a conventional row unit, we understand with our early riser row unit how to make these row units more productive in the field and more agronomically correct. So we make things like seed firmer standard equipment. We recommend the spider wheel uh, closing system because it, 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 it has a tendency to move soil at the base of the seed trench up against the seed. And if you get that system, we also include drag chains as standard equipment to optimize the agronomics of that conventional row unit. Now this offering is really designed for those people that have a cultural or farming practice that will not allow them to take advantage of the hot, new high population varieties and allow them to change their row spacing, like uh, down to a 15, 20, or 22 inch row spacing. So as a result, if they're in gate irrigation or they have a crop rotation that requires them to stay at 30 or 36 or 38 or 40 inch, this allows them to take advantage of those new hybrids and still allows them to maintain their current uh, uh, harvest equipment, their, their current tire sizing and spacing, and as a result then they can you know, learn how and work with that fertilization, the management of the higher populations, and all the inputs that go along with it.